Congratulations! If you're here, you're interested in making a powerful bot that can repeat tasks again and again. This is, in essence, one of the many reasons why UBOT Studio was created. It is designed to do repetitive tasks like account creation or page scraping easily and simply. This allows you to walk away and go do more interesting things with your time, like grow your business or take a nap. So watch as we go through the steps you'll need to understand in order to loop your tasks and really begin to get the most out of your bots. Let's start with the loop command. The loop command is located underneath the flow commands. The loop command allows anything contained within it to repeat given the number of times you specify. When you drag the loop command into the scripting area, you'll be given an area where you can determine how many times you want the tasks within the loop command to loop. The tasks will loop according to the number you place within this area. Simply decide on a number of times you want the tasks to be looped and then type the number into the area. Let's say we want the field here to be filled with the word blue three times. So when we drag this area into the loop command, the area is already selected and ready to go. All we have to do is specify what we would like to fill the area with. We've already typed blue into the field. So click OK after you've done that. And then within the loop, we specify that we want the loop to run three times. That's how many cycles it will loop. So click OK. When you're done, and then you run your script. Notice that the field has been filled with the word blue three times. Now, let's move on to the loop while command. The loop while command allows anything contained within it to repeat given a number of times according to the conditionals you set within the command. In this command, you are allowed to use qualifiers to set the criteria for whether or not your loop loops. If you've been paying attention, qualifiers can be located under the parameters option. They are conditionals that determine whether or not a command will be run. In our example, we have set up a UI text box and named a corresponding variable to the UI named apples, as you can see here. That is the label for the UI text box, and then that is the corresponding variable we'll be using in this example. So click OK after you've, you're done with that. And as you already know, the UI text box is a command, and you can spot it right under the commands tab. So in our loop while command, we're using the comparison qualifier to compare the value of the variable for the UI text box to a number. So let's look at our comparison qualifier. So we're comparing the value of this variable to the number one. And we're saying compare these two values and only when they are equal can the loop be looped. So click OK. You've already set your condition. And if the value in the variable apples is equal to the value of one, then we want this field here to be filled with the word blue. So when you drag the area you want to fill into the loop while command. It's already chosen, it's ready to go, and we want it to be filled with the word blue. So click OK after you've determined that. So let's try a few things. Let's type a value into the UI field. Let's type the number four and run our script to see what happens. Let's run it. What happens? Absolutely nothing, because according to this comparison, the value of this variable is not equal to 1. Therefore, the loop will not run. So let's change the value in the UI text box to 1. 
Let's run our script. What happens? It'll keep filling the field with the word blue until you stop it. So let's stop. And that is pretty much the way loop while works. It is based on meeting a certain criteria as opposed to just typing a number and watching it loop according to the number in this area. You can use any of the given qualifiers to set the conditions on which you would like your loop to loop. You can even type in your, your own equation without a qualifier. You can use variables if you need to. You can compare the content of a list item to some other value if you need to. There are numerous ways to control your loops and ensure that your scripts are efficient, methodical, and powerful. Thanks so much for listening, and if you have any questions, feel free to check out our forum at ubotstudio.com slash forum, take a look at our tutorials and script references, or open a ticket at support.ubotstudio.com. Take care.